Boy, oh boy. I'm embarrassed to talk about this one. <laughs> Let's just jump straight into it, man. Lil Hustle. Yo. Tell them what to do, man. You already know what time it is. Drop that beat. Out that loud, that loud. Out that loud, that loud. Out that loud, that loud. Out that lie, 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 out that I'm a little bit older now. I think I'm like 11. Check it. My grandma's house was directly behind my friend Gerard. Uh -huh. G-Man. <laughs> man, y'all ain't gonna believe it. This dude conned me, man. This man conned me. He not only had my little annihilator money and my little um, grocery store money. This man tried He got me. Put it like this. He got me. I got you. Man, I'm over there. He got his little basketball thing in his backyard, right? He ain't have no concrete court. You know, we played on freaking grass and dirt. I remember he had a wooden pole. Man, he had a little thing rigged up. All the little kids in the neighborhood used to come over and play. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. Everybody used to have fun back then, man. Heck yeah. So we back there, we used to play a little 21, you know, gases up a little bit. So one day, man, this man going to tell me, Yo, yo, what's going on, Kurt? What you doing? What's that you eating? I said, oh, man, it's some brownies. Oh, yeah, where you getting them from? Man, man Lily May. Lily May was a family I friend. Can. used to come over to my grandma's house, and she used to make brownies, clean up, and do stuff like that for the family. She was real helpful. She was a real nice lady. And um, she used to make these brownies, man. Oh, <laughs> my God. The whole neighborhood used to love these brownies, right? So, guess what this man do? This man what? say, yo, Kurt, I'll play you huh? for some brownies. Don't do it. Oh, my like, God. Like, play me for some brownies. So, I knew, like, a couple games I had done beat him, right? I'm like, okay, yeah, I done, I done beat this guy. You know what I'm saying? Gee, he all right. But, you know, he got a little weight on me at this time. But I think I could take him. Uh -uh. So, man, we started balling, right? Rainbow. Man, this man became... Sky Jordan in his backyard. <laughs> I mean, this man was hitting all type of shots, man. He was hitting them over the shoulder, spins. He was doing fadeaways. I didn't even think fadeaways was out back then. I'm like, what the hell? Where you get all this game from? Man, this man was doing everything on the dirt. I mean, remember, we ain't had no concrete now. This dirt and grass. This man balling his butt off, man. All I could think about is, oh, my God. Every time he'll win, I have to jump across the, climb across the fence, go in the house, get the little dish up and take me a brownie or two and come back, give him the brownies. This man, you would think this man would get full, right? Nope. <laughs> this man was like, yo, man, yo, you want to play another game? So I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I'm going to play another game. Well, then I say, hold on. Now, if I win, what I get? Nope. You know what? He never answered that question. That's my fault, man. I don't even know what I was going to win if I would won the game. But anyway, we played game after game after game. This man just constantly beat me over and over and over again. I mean, we played to like nighttime, man. Nighttime. Dude, I went back and forth over that fence so many times. It's ridiculous. Man, at the end of the day... There was no more brownies left in the, under the glass dish. Come on now. And I was like, oh boy, what am I going to do now? How am I going to explain to Aunt Lily May that we don't have any more freaking brownies? You got to work know? for the brownies. My friend ate them all up. No, nope, you did So I'm right. worried about that. I'm like, oh my God. Well, let me hurry up and get back over here. So I'm over there. We done finished playing. He laughing. He happy. He got a little brownie residue all over his mouth. You know, they just talking about something. Yeah, man. So 
let's go hang out. Let's go hang out, man. Let's go. I'm like, nah, that's it, bro. I'm chilling for the day. I'm really worn out, man. You got me, man. No, you're not. I really didn't think that he was going to be able to beat me in basketball, man, that night, man. You know, we played every, – remember, every day we used to play, it used to be really, com it used to be really competitive, man. Like I said, yeah. this day here, this guy just became somebody totally, totally different. He set you up for the <laughs> you, you never know what sweets do for a kid, man. Yeah. And for that kid there, this man went bananas for freaking brownies. And – I know if you ever, hey, this is for everybody out there. If you ever meet my friend Gerard uh -uh. and he tell you, hey, you want to play basketball? Don't do it. Don't and he do say, it. you want to play for brownies? <laughs> you better run. Because <laughs> this dude, he going to pull out the bag. He going to come out the bag on you. Crossovers, fadeaways, everything. Like, <laughs> that's my brownies. homie though, man. You know, Gerard, William, bunch of good friends, man. But I'm going to end this episode right here. I just had to bring that up, man. I, I thought about that basketball for brownies, man. And <laughs> that was fun. That was fun back then. Hey, but until the next time, I'm going to let Lil Hustle take you guys out. And I'll catch you guys later, man. I think there's episode uh, seven coming up. Yeah, episode, episode eight, seven. Boo. Catch you guys on episode seven, man. This is Kurt, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah. Ha, ha, your hand. Basketball for brownies. Man, this man got whoop for everything. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. Stop that loud, that loud. Yeah. Stop that loud, that loud. Stop that loud, that loud. Basketball for brownies. Stop that loud, that loud. 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 Don't let Gerard get you for your brownies. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. <laughs>